from Fairway Sports World in Natick. Our champions, Joe Tavernese from Lynn and Tom Senemy from Lynn, take on Glenn LeBlanc from Greenville, New Hampshire, and Gary Casey from Fitchburg, Massachusetts. This is Candlepin Doubles. Good afternoon, I'm Ed Harding, and welcome to Candlepin Doubles. I, I think we're going to have to change Tom's name to almost triple. I mean, for two weeks in a row, he has almost rolled triples. He's come within one pin twice. So we'll see if the third time is a charm for him. His championship team has been able to take the $500 first place prize for the past couple of weeks. They'll be back trying to do it again. It'll, of course, be the challengers who will try to take it away from him. If they, whomever finishes second, will take $300 with them. It'll be $50 for three consecutive marks, and you get a lot of money for three consecutive strikes, and we've almost seen it two weeks in a row. Maybe this week, Tom. Who knows? Gentlemen, the stage is yours. You're watching Joe Taverny, see if we'll get us going. Oh, what's the matter? The one pin can't go? What's the matter? He's got to get it. It's Glenn LeBlanc who almost started us out with a bang of his own. Joe Taverny gets us going. It's going. It'll go. It'll go. Have faith. It'll fall. Glenn LeBlanc's high single is 185, a high triple to 444, an average of 125, and his fill is six. That's two, make it three, we pay bonus money. Oh, well, that was a great ride. Great ride. Cleans up to 10. That's coming back. The wood comes around and slithers in front. The fill is eight for Joe Tavernese, and the lead has jumped out to 17 pin. This is makeable. Ching ching, ring up the cash register. Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you, two straight boxes. Glenn has made marvelous shots. Oh. Marks for a fourth consecutive box. That's wavering, wavering. We knew, 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 knew. How nasty of you. Got it. One pin away from a double. Glenn LeBlanc fills with a six. There's just one piece of wood that is kind of settled. Certainly not in his way. He fills it. With a 10. Well, it's a great start for Joe Tavernese. In all five of the frames here in the first string, he's marked. <laughs> well, we've gotten off to a rip-roaring start. Glenn LeBlanc has done well with the 59 so far. We're halfway through the first string. We still have five boxes to go and a whole second string. So we'll be back at Candlepin Double. Please stay with us. Casey to take us to the end of the first string. 
Tavern East and Cinnamon have a 21 pin advantage to through boxes already scored. That was Tom Senemi's first ball of the afternoon. That's Gary Casey's first ball of the afternoon. Tom Senemi, for the past two weeks, has come within one pin of a triple. Came within one pin of a mark in his first box here this afternoon, as did Gary Casey. Tom size single is 211, a high triple of 469, with an average of 131. Gary Casey's high single is 203 with a high triple of 507 and an average of 126. Each man opens with a nine. The difference, 30 pins. Well, there's the one. Four horsemen left. Well, I tell you, the Tavernese Centimeter team marks in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Leaves the sixth open, marks in the seventh. It's a seven in the seventh for Gary Casey, the Casey LeBlanc team. Already, Senemi and Tabernese are at 108. And Tom has two bonus balls on top of what he's bowling here. man marking here in the eighth. Senemi fills his strike with ten pins. Oh. Mm. You see what they have. Close to three consecutive and close to more bonus money. Glenn Casey has two in a row now. Tom Senemi goes out with a 10. Had a great first string. They already have 144. Whoa. Tom will get a bonus ball. Diamond left's what Gary's looking at. He takes it out. Three consecutive marks. There's bonus money for him. have to wait till we go through the bonus balls before we're able to figure out yes well we'll sort this one out for you Senemi fills his with seven Gary fills his with ten so we have bowled one frame here and all the computers are slowed down and back it up and let's see here add that we've done the one 161 for tavernese and cinnamon and the blank and casey a 128 and we still have another string to go with a 33 pin advantage as we head to the second string Here's Joe Tavernese. Mm. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. 
Here goes Glenn LeBlanc's shot at taking out the seven and the ten. He didn't get it. Each man leaves it open. Tavernese and Senemi have gained one more pin. We move to the second box in the second string. It'll tap and stay. Spread Eagle Plus. Yes. Nice take out. And a disappointing six in the second box for Glenn LeBlanc. Now, as the deficit rises and the bonus ball sits in his hand, you begin to sense they need a mark. Get over! No. The fill is six. out for a 10 by Glenn LeBlanc and a 10 for Joe Tavernese. Remember, Joe Tavernese in the first string in the five boxes that he bowled, he marked in all of them. 44 pin advantage for Tavernese and Senemi as we head to the fourth box. Second string, cumulative score. We'll decide who will advance to next week. That's a leave and he can mark with it. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a look at it anyway. There's wood in front and it's off, so it's between the ball and the pins, and it doesn't matter. Because the blank takes it all out. Here's a shot of the 7 10. Take the wood. When you have a 44 pin advantage, you can try to. Have some fun taking a shot at the 710. Len LeBlanc would love with this bonus ball to not only pull his team back, but leave his partner some free time to keep eating away at it. Blank can hand his partner a, a bonus ball. It's a makeable shot. That wood keeps settling around in there. <clears throat> Love nothing more than to hand, it, hand his partner, Gary Casey, something extra, and that's exactly what he did. So we will change bowlers. Tavern East and LeBlanc are through bowling for this afternoon. Senemi and Casey will take over. With 34 pins. Gary Casey, and here's Tom Senemi. Ooh, ooh. That ball hurt. That ball hurt. That ball hurt. That ball hurt the LeBlanc Casey team. Senemi responding with a mark in the sixth box. Gary Casey. Leaves it open with eight. Come on. 
tapped them, and one goes. Diamond left plus the 10 will stay for him. Let's see. There's a narrow corridor right to the pin. If he wants to go into the clean. Didn't have to. That was a nice out by Tom Senemy, too. Both men. Neither shot was particularly easy, but each man marks in it. Two consecutive marks, by the way, for Tom Senemy, so that could enter into bonus play. The hammer. They all got over. Four horsemen left side. Tom Senemy, and at this point, the first of two bonus balls for Glenn LeBlanc. Turned into a decent one. Seven. And he should be able to mark in the frame, and he should be able to add another bonus ball. Well, if you're coming back, you don't need someone to hit a grand slam on you in the bottom of the eighth. Tavernese and Senemy should be able to not only, and I don't want to put any carts before the horse, but it would appear they would be headed on to another week of bowling, plus they'll go over 275, and they'll be able to earn that bonus money as well. So in the last couple of weeks, they've almost given us a triple, but the only thing they've disappointed us in, they haven't given us the triple. Casey closing out with two tens in the ninth and the tenth box for a 124 here in the second string. Tom Sedemy goes out with a 10 and a 123. So Taverty and Sedemy have won again. They have eclipsed the 275 total and been able to earn themselves some bonus money on that. They've finished with 284. They win, they move on, and we'll be back in doubles in just a minute. It's nice to have all these families up here, isn't this nice, huh? You, three who, 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 you got to get three more. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys always have your family. I have my uncle here, Uncle Walter. Come here. I listen. Everybody, every week, gets a chance to put their family on television. Now my uncle Walter can be on television. Come here. Now you stand right in here, Uncle Walter, because you stand next to me. This is my Uncle Walter. It's my father's brother. You didn't bowl anything, but congratulations. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. That was I a fun match, it. huh? It was. Yeah, it was it was bad. Tell, tell me who your friend is here. This is Colleen. Colleen? Yeah. Hi, Colleen. You know how, how old you are? Can you tell me how old you are? So two. She can't say two, but believe me, she's two. <laughs> well, really, congratulations. And you get some money for being runners-up and our appreciation for having a very entertaining afternoon. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye, Colleen. But don't go away. I want you to do something for me. Great. Go ahead. We're here. Do me, excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. Now, I learned everything about candle pin bowling from my Uncle Walter. I can, I get two no, just, just, just go ahead and don't, don't him. <laughs> He's going, come on. Nice and easy. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Now, see, all I've done is thoroughly embarrass him, right? You guys just keep rolling along, huh? You're like Old Man River, huh? Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe decided to use my balls that match, and uh, <laughs> everything came alive there. Yeah. You started out like, uh, you know, like they say, a house of fire. You yeah, know? I did. It was about time, I think. Huh? You know, your, your, your friend helped you a few weeks back, and he's back to help you again. A little Raphael, huh? 
Yeah? Did, did, did he do okay today? He keeps doing okay, huh? Well, I tell you, your good luck charm just keeps That's working. Right, she's right here. Tell me, honey, do, do you think Grampy can keep winning? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, she said yeah. She said yes, and she also has this beautiful wad of gum right here. That's... Say hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> Well, that's hi, Mommy, and it's done very well. Gentlemen, congratulations for what you've done today. We'll see you again next week. You keep right on going. Uncle Walter, thanks. <laughs> for all of us here at Kettlepin Doubles, I'm Ed Harding. Have a great day, and thanks for making us a part of your afternoon. Bye-bye.